So the other day I tried to make a video of an unboxing of this new backpack sprayer that we've got in stock now here at WaterPro and in true WaterPro fashion my staff just got out of control and ruined it. What have we got here? Look at this, Ghostbusters in action. Yeah, come on Jared. I'm trying to make a serious video. Uh, we'll it made be doing no sense. More he started orders. off with so I'm so, done for me. And then when he came in there he's like... No, I'm talking about swapping the fitting. Do you guys mind just keeping it down a little bit while I'm making my video? Oh, sorry. Thanks. It's cool. Like, it's probably important, but... I am pretty entertaining. <laughs> video, it sounds like you're selling dildos. Among with some... I think there were some other customers there as well. Tyler Freeman. This video is going really well. You can kind of see why the famous people shut down the whole street. Mm. Imagine, like, you're trying to make the Matrix or Batman or something. Front, so it makes every video. <laughs> Bloody Tyler. We're going to try again. This is the new 414 Li. It's known in the market more as a 414 than a 414 Li. It's a battery operated 10 litre backpack sprayer. So everything that comes in the box is here on the desk now. Uh, so it's a lithium battery, 18 volt, that's the battery. It came out of the box flat. We had to charge it up using that charger and we did that overnight and that then goes in here. So your battery slides in there. And that's in, right? There's no, there's no, there's no locking or anything. It's just in, in or out. And then you close that over, and the battery's in there. So this has a nozzle on it already. So it's got a spare, a spare nozzle. So there's a filter basket inside here, obviously to catch any uh, debris that might come out of a product that you're going to use. So if you're using a, a product like, um, say, Lawn Hub, Roots and Shoots, uh, that might have some some small elements that are organic from the seaweed or the kelp that it's made from. So you tip that through there. That'll stop the pump getting blocked up. And I guess especially the nozzle getting blocked up. It has a padded back and then it's got these padded straps. So pretty easy to throw on the back. And I'm a pretty large frame. This shirt's 3XL, so give you an idea on how much I guess how big a human could wear it. Um, there's still a couple of, like, you know, there's a fair bit of play there. I can reach the, the switch there on and off. I'm assuming you probably shouldn't run it dry. And then we've got the, the wand, which has got a quite a, a long, like my arm's definitely not gonna be able to extend that fully. So there's definitely enough there. That's what comes in this box. So we'll head out the back, get some water and do some spraying. So there's some measurements on the side here. 10 litres being there, it's got a 5 litre. So if you were using one of our Lawn Hub products or any of the other fertilisers that you mix with water, they recommend that you put 50% of the water in that you're going to require. So we'll do that. So you put 50% of the water in that you're going to require, then you add the chemical or the fertiliser that you're going to apply, and then you add the other 50% and mix it up. I'm not going to put too much in here because we're only doing a test. So what's that? One, two, three, four, five. So that's just over two litres now. It sounds like it's primed. Okay, so... I turned that on and the, the pump's primed up with water and then when I turn it off, it reprimes. So it's acting like a pressure pump would for a, um, a pressure pump from a rainwater tank. So there's obviously air in that line and when I release the handle, the pump stops pumping, which is good. It's not wasting battery and it's not building up pressure in the line. So we're getting a bit of dripping there. So there's no filter in this one here. Obviously we saw a filter in that, that bag. We'll take it out the front. Hopefully there's some space in the car park and we'll try and get an idea of um, the pattern that this nozzle that it comes with as standard does. So this is just a fixed nozzle. Uh, that's the amount of water that you're going to see or the amount of liquid that you have come out of it. So you can move pretty quickly and apply your uh, fertilizer or chemical. It's really uh, going to be something that most people are going to have to work out for themselves how many litres per square metre per minute they can get out. Every product that you would apply to your turf surface has different uh, rates. So if you're applying, say, like the Lawn Hub wet, it might be 100 to 400 millilitres of wet with say five to 10 litres of water per 100 square metres. And then you need to work out how fast you can move around your 100 square metres. So we've got a filter there. This nozzle might be adjustable, I think. So this is the nozzle that came in the, in the, in the kit that wasn't part of the original nozzle. Oh wow, you could use this for water flights. You know? Right in the crutch. <laughs> okay, there you go. So that gets quite misty, a bit more direct.
So if I tighten that right up, okay, that's as tight as that goes. It's almost blowing away. It's that misty. So that's fully closed. Misty, misty, probably getting you wet. Now, if I turn that a quarter turn, then you've got like a bit more of a direct mist. Let's see, we're starting to get dripping from the nozzle. Now that could just be that that's not tight enough. Yeah, that's all that is. There's an O-ring in there. And then if we do another quarter turn, we're squirting a direct stream. So there's not a lot of play there. So that's the adjustable nozzle. And then I'll just go back and show you the, the nozzle that it comes with. You can buy uh, different nozzles from um, online stores, uh, nozzle shops. So that's the, the, the spray that it came with standard. So it's probably a bit heavier than the, the adjustable one at its tightest. So this is the standard nozzle that came on the kit, tightened right up. Um, the, it's not windy at all here. It's quite a still day. Uh, that mist, is, you're still getting a little bit of, of, bit of um, I guess, wind spray. I find myself leaning over as well. I'm not sure if that's just me trying to get the nozzle closer to the ground, but I guess you can get really close if you need to. So that's that's it. There's a locker, a locking mechanism here. So if you're spraying a lot, you could close that over and lock that, and that's just going to just keep spraying. Uh, if you're doing a lot and your hands are starting to hurt from holding that down, the the action required to keep that closed is quite minimal. Like I'm not, it's not I'm not tensing my arm dramatically. So um, I think this is a quite a good pack. I've I've not used packs before, um, so I don't really have anything to compare it to, but. Um, we'll get one of the piston packs out and have a play with that and I'll get an idea of I guess how much more difficult that is than using this but uh, these are available now on our website so you can get these online at waterpro.com.au they're in store now uh, they're I think they're just under $195 if you buy them from us if you got any questions or comments regarding this or anything else we sell as always comment on the video uh, in the comments below always keen to hear what your thoughts are if you want us to do more videos like this let us know um, if you've got any questions about it let us know. Thanks.